Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy P. Lot, aka the Brick Slinger, and guess what? Your boy got something to say. So many of y'all probably already seen the infamous picture with my with my dude Lakeith Stanfield. Uh, for those who probably don't know or haven't seen movies lately, or at least the past five years, five seven years, my dude Lakeith has been on his game. He's been coming. He has became like one of the top notch, uh, up and coming black actors. Period. You know what I'm saying? From Get Out to Sorry to Bother You. What else? He was on uh, Miles Ahead with uh, with um, what's my dude's name? But um, if anything, oh, and it's um great performance on Judas and the Black Messiah. Uh, phenomenal work. Phenomenal work. Um, um, but the the thing of it is, he gets on a picture right now. There's a recent picture that's on that's going viral on the internet where he is literally wearing uh, women's clothes. Here's my thing. Like, usually I would have continued on with the intro of having folks understand, like, even though he's wearing, you know, like a blazer, but it's obvious that he's not wearing like long socks, you know what I'm saying? Like long, tall socks that goes up to the, uh, over the calf muscle or something like, like old school shoes or uh, socks that you wear like back in the day when you're playing basketball and you got the Converse or what, I don't know, shoes that's popular at the time, which would be the Chuck Taylors, whatever the case may be. He's not doing that. He's, it's, it's, it's clear that he's wearing clothes that pertain to a woman. And yes, going to have to get in scripture on this one. Like men should not, according to scripture, men should not be wearing what's contained to a woman. A woman should not contain to a what's you should not be wearing what's contained to a man now we're living in a society where all of that is being switched now what's supposed what's not supposed to be done is now being done and what's supposed to be done is not being done and even though again scriptures there are folks that's trying to turn good into evil evil to good sweet to bitter bitter to sweet and this picture along with other pictures of black men wearing clothes that is pertaining to a woman. Yeah, you can call me a Bible thumper. You can call me traditional. You can call me conservative. You can call me whatever you want, but y'all know I'm not lying. This is that image that is the, that's, that's, that's destroying uh masculinity especially within the black community especially within black men these are what our sons and our nephews and our young cousins are going to see and be and determine whether or not can in their head this is acceptable i remember plenty of times i having conversation dealing with uh the, the the dealing with the the topic of of is a person born gay or not? And I always opposed to the idea that they're born gay. Born gay. Why? Because everybody is born a sinner. Everybody is born with a with a clean slate. Everybody is born with a clean a clear blank cap a canvas. Now, this ain't even about me questioning uh Lakeith sexuality, but his uh cho chosen to choice to wear uh uh women clothes is is on the, is what's on the table for me. I'm all I'm saying is this is what's going to make black men look very bad because. We already have to deal with uh, the image of black men when it comes to the things we wear, whether it's not just what we wear, but how we wear it, like sagging for for one, 
uh, t-shirts that used to be go down. Tall t-shirts. For those who ain't even tall, but yet it's not even fit to wear these type of clothes. And I'm not talking about big dudes wearing big clothes. I'm talking about small dudes wearing big clothes. There was a point where we, there was a time when that was the thing. And before that, it was wearing jerseys, um, basketball jersey, football jersey, and jeans, whether we were sagging or not, whether we wearing Jordans or Tim's, whatever the case may be. Now it's getting to the point where back is you could go back to my video about presentation is everything. This is how important our presentation is. We see something like Lakeith wearing a uh, wearing wearing a dress. We see someone like uh what uh, Russell Westbrook wearing a dress. We'll see Kid Cuddy. You know what I'm saying? And the list goes on and on. Even LeBron James. The list goes on of many black men. Tyler Perry. The list goes on and on and on and on on black men wearing wearing things that women's supposed to wear or what is pertaining to a woman. And many people are trying to make it seem like this is the new norm. We need to let people be let people do whatever they want to do and 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 don't 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 even disagree not just bash but just don't disagree and many times folks disagree folks will see disagreement as bashing and if you go back to the video uh, the video I did dealing with Peter Guns and how He's been ridiculed and scrutinized and even persecuted for not letting his son wear a ladybug uh, costume that was meant for a girl. I'm I'm seeing it from a perspective of this is the world we're living in and this is how bad we need Jesus. You know what I'm saying? This this is how bad we really need Jesus. Matter of fact. If you ever read Romans 1, after the 18th verse, all the way down, on down, you will see that there is a charge. There is a, 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 a charge against mankind because at one point, man gave up the, the, the knowledge of God and focused straight on, create, on, on the creation. They focus on everything else except God. They... And that's our that has been our nature ever since the fall. And there and it and it got to the point where it's like God many people want to ignore the fact that God gives people exactly what they want. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's why it's so hard to accept that uh uh God it's really hard to accept that God will literally give people the trap that they want because they don't want God. God wants God wants us to be in a relationship with him so bad that he gave his only begotten son. At this point, it's either accept Jesus or don't accept Jesus. And if you do accept Jesus, this is what to this is what to expect. But if you don't rock with Jesus and you want to do your own thing, here you go. That's as many people keep forgetting because I heard a lot of people try to be like, oh, God was so ruthless in the Old Testament. But he's so such a gentle, gentle gentleman. And, and no, no, he's all the he's all the above. He's everything. He's he's just he's grace he's mercy he's love but we want to but for some reason we want to be like well god made me this way god made me but none of you no we should not be seeing stuff like that we should not be allowing a image like what lakeith puts out what russell put out what lebron james put out what what tyler perry put out we should not be as especially as men in the black community we should not be 
we should be standing out like standing up like uh Peter Guns, who said, no, nah, son, you this is not for you. Cause our sons is, and our nephews and our and our young cousins, we're go, they gonna see this and they're gonna wondering why is that acceptable? If they can't do this, why is it acceptable for some reason? Because we all we all every generation can admit that we all had experience in wondering why certain things were acceptable, why selling drugs was acceptable, why uh doing drugs was acceptable, why having sex before marriage is acceptable, why being why a, why getting rid of a kid before they even get come to this earth is acceptable. And now men at some point we're going to have to deal with the fact that we're either going to fall in or fall back and stand for something else. And like I always, like I always feel like saying like people can do whatever they want, but as far as me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord and we're going to do as much as we can to stay on the right path, do what is right, do what's right in God's eyes. And I believe that there's a lot of brothers that is doing that. There's a lot of guys that saying, no, I will not let, I will not let my son be this. I would not let my daughter be this. And we should, if anything, if there's nothing else, men need to be able to stand up and stand out without trying to show up to be acknowledged. It's like, let another person give you praise. Let another person acknowledge you taking care of your kids. Let another person do this, that, and the third. But at the same time, don't stop doing it once somebody acknowledges it. You keep going. Because at the end of the day, seeing stuff like, like what Lakeith Stanfield put out, it, it should get to the point where black men should stand up and stand out and say, that's not me. That's not how I re that's not what I represent. This is not how I get down. If more of us like, let's not even try to get mainstream attention. Let's just say that's just not me. That's just not how I get down. And that's not how I want my son to get down. Otherwise, we're going to continue to find folks like Bootsy, like Patrick Troy, that comes out and saying, no. Nah, I'm not rocking what little, little Nas X is doing. No, I'm not rocking what these folks is doing. Like, bump the mainstream, bump what society say, bump what the majority say. The minority said, this ain't what I, this ain't us, this ain't me. And if, and if we do that, then who knows how, how much change can happen once we make the first move, even though the first move will always be the hardest move. Because at the end of the day, we, we need to see more positive, strong black men. That's especially if you are a black man and you're a Christian, need to stand up, stand out, be like, hey, we're not going to rock with this. Bump what y'all say. Bump what you heard. We're not going to rock with the crowd. We're going to stand out. But you know what? That's just me. If you like what you heard, there's a like button. Dislike. That's a dislike button. Uh, comment, please. Let's continue the conversation. Who knows? We may able to do it live. And like I always say, we can disagree, but please do not be disrespectful. Sh just subscribe. Share this video. Let's have the have the conversation. Keep going. Until then, this is your boy P Lot, aka the Brick Slinger. And as always, continue to sharpen one another. Support the kingdom. Take care and God bless. Laborers.